Hello students, hope you are doing good at your home. Today we are going to talk about the rest of the points of your chapter number 8, Prairies, the Grassy Plains. In this video we will cover natural vegetation and wildlife, life of people, minerals and industries and transport and cities of North America or you can say prairies. In this video and previous videos also I have told you what natural vegetation means and what wildlife is actually we are talking about. Natural vegetation means those plants or trees which are naturally grown there or which are found there and wildlife are those animals and birds which are seen there which live there their natural habitat is in that area in this prairies area the trees which are found are elder poplar and willow talking about animals and birds animals are antelopes prairie dog deer bison golden eagle owl hawk the grasses in this area is tall in height about 8 meters and now most of the grasslands are converted into farmlands learning through the pictures these these are some pictures of the animals which are found in that area wildlife this is your american buffalo at number one basin second is your antelope prairie dog on third golden eagle on the fourth hawk Owl, talking about life of people. Agriculture is the main occupation of people in the prairies. Farmers live in small houses on the farm with their families. These houses are called homesteads. Workers working in the farm are called cowboys. There is a picture of cowboys. Plowing, sowing, harvesting are all done by large machines. The surplus produce is stored in large granaries called silos. The extra produce is the reason behind the luxurious life led by farmers in the prairies. All the work is done by machines, not by labors, unlike India. Let's see how farming is done in India and how it is done in the prairies and how they differ. This is how in India farming is practiced more manual work less machines and this is how farming takes place in prairies more machines less labor and due to these farming practices and plenty production of wheat and maize this region is also called wheat baskets of the world you need to remember that north american prairies are the wheat basket of the world here is the picture of cowboys talking about the rivers mississippi and missouri are the two rivers which flow in this area making the soil more fertile but the western part of north uh, prairies western part of prairies is less fertile and hilly as compared to the eastern side Another important occupation of people in this area is cattle rearing. They rear m the animals and cattle for milk and meat. Dairy farms are located near the cities. Milking of cow is done by machines. Again there is a picture waiting for you. Large part of meat is consumed locally means by people residing in that area and the surplus means the extra produce is exported to Europe export means selling that meat in exchange of some money to Europe Chicago is the main center for slaughtering of cattle you must be wondering how is it possible that cattle rearing is also such main occupation and people are earning good because cows are herbivorous you must have read in your science class that cows are herbivorous so they eat grass and plants and in this prairies and in this area there is a lot of grass 
so it provides healthy growth of cattle and thus they produce good amount of milk and meat and this way they are very beneficial for the farmers here you can see how cows are being uh, allowed to stand in the queue and how by machines the milking is done and the ground you can see how large the ground is and cowboys are rearing the animals cattle grazing talking about your minerals and industries coal and oil are found in this area oil crushing refineries meat packaging flour mills and milk food etc industries are located in this area transport is well developed in this area railways roadways airways everything is up to the mark and a good network is there talking about the major cities chicago st louis kansas dallas these are some important cities of this area you can clearly understand that the location is in the middle of north america and mexico is to the south Canada is in the north, Chicago is to your east, and Dallas is to your south east. Hope the concepts of this chapter are clear with you. Stay safe.